I'm hit! Ah! Oh, I think Paladin's down. Neat-looking ship. All right, let's land. I don't even think I don't think I took any actual hits to the hull either. The shields on this thing held up. Oh no, I did get I did get hit up a little bit. How badly? Looks like it got a little hot out there. Okay, not too bad. Oh good, Paladin's alive. <laughs> Mission debrief. Well flown, hotshot. You handled those flea blacks like an old pro. Thanks, sir. Having power in my wind made it easy. He distracted them and then got shot for me. Now, laddie, don't brag on me, or the old colonel will start expecting more from me. So let's go over the mission report. You scragged five kill Rathy, hotshot. And Paladin did in one himself. Keep his accent consistent. That's all, then. Dismissed. Okay, so you got one. Cool. Uh, who are these two? I don't know these pilots. Alright, well, let's see what Shot Glass has to say now. Maniac's a real lunatic. A good pilot, but way too erratic. He was just coming up from the he was just coming up when the flea bags put me out of commission. Just between you and me, I'd rather fly alone than with Maniac on my wing. Boss man's another story though. He's a real team leader. Crack pilot with seventeen years behind him. Flown everything in the Terran fleet. And blown up at least one of every class the kill Rathy have. Alright, let's see who these different people are. Maniac. Hey, Hotshot! I'm Maniac! Glad to meet ya! Bossman says we're gonna see some action against the battleship soon. I can't wait. Dodging flak and fighter cover to make a missile run of the destroyer. Man, that'll be a rush. Get in there quick. Waste the mama cat! And then pick the kittens off one by one. That's the way to do it! Sit down, Hotshot. They call me Bossman. I've been watching you. You look good for a rookie. You handle yourself well in a dogfight. But we're going to be facing some bigger ships soon. Alright, some serious action! A lot of young pilots get excited when they see their first destroyer. Just what do you mean by that, boss? They lose their heads and go straight for the battleship. Then a light fighter they forgot about blasts them from behind. Big ships move slow and turn like pigs. Thing to do is clean up the fighter cover first, then go in for the battleship. No, oh, well, that seems obvious to me, but... Maybe not. Uh, I'm catching up on that Marshall guy. Twelve kills, I'm one behind him. Casey's still on the top. I wish I knew which of these... I wish they had their call signs, because I have no idea who any of these people are. Who's Marshall? Who am I catching up on? Oh, I don't Save the campaign, yes. Fly another mission. Carlo system. Oh, 0600 hours, as usual. Well, boys and girls, things are getting ready to heat up. The Confederation is getting ready to mount a major offensive, so we're expecting the next several supply ships within the next 48 hours, but scanners show increased kill Rathy activity in the system. We've got to clean up the enemy presence here at McAuliffe before the tankers and sports start to arrive tomorrow. We've detected a large bogey about 90,000 clicks out. It jumped in 20 minutes ago and seems to be headed this way. It might be just a transport, but it's probably a small warship. Hotshot, you and Paladin are going to go out and get a look at it. And destroy it, if you can. Faith lad, but that'll be a challenge. Here's your flat plan. If the bogey continues its present course and speed, you should meet it here at Nav 1. We've detected a fighter escort in the area as well. So be on the lookout for additional bogeys. The colonel quickly goes through the rest of the assignments, dispatching the other wings to check out other bogeys in the system. 
I feel this is my Jansen moment, I think it's Jansen, to say, two fighters against a Star Destroyer? Actually, it probably is Hobby. Oh my gosh, I'm a nerd. Musical stickage! I wonder what the name of the squadron is. Oh, I'm in the Blue Devils, that's what I mean. The Blue Devils, that's the name of the squadron. So just fly here and kill everything. I can do that. save my missiles, because I don't know how many missiles the, uh, whatever the, the warship contact is going to take, so I'm trying to stick to the mass driver for these guys. They're wimps anyway. Two down. Looks like there's two more. And they're on Paladin. Don't worry, Paladin. I'm coming. Get this guy off me! They're hitting him. Gotta get him off of him. I think he's bringing him back my way. Haha! <laughs> right into the line of fire! Okay, these mass drivers I think do do a little bit more damage. Haha! -ha! Alright. Alright, I've definitely got the hang of this. This is getting... This is getting to be easy to kill Drawthy. They're, they have, like, no armor at all. So, a couple good shots brings them down. Halfway to the cruiser, or the destroyer, or whatever this thing is. Oh, I think I see it coming up. got a fighter escort of some kind. Too far out to tell what it is. But we'll find out soon enough. I feel safe to use dumb fighters on these guys. Let these hit! Oh, are they behind us? No, they're in front of us. Who's, who's quote-unquote caught you with your kill down? Oh, wait. A rant? A, a crant? Can't? I can't. I don't know what these are. I don't know their capabilities. I don't know if they're any good. with that missile. They look fearsome of some... Ah! I've killed a Krant. Okay, I don't want to fight it with uh, the other cruiser. Oh, he scored a hit on me. Come on. I'm on your tail now, pal. You're not getting away from me. You can't shake Hotshot. Come on, Master Driver, recharge a little bit. I need some hits. Looks like he's sparking. Yeah! Whoa! Okay, Help who's me! Who's hitting him now? Hey, leave me oh, alone! This thing. 
so the monkey can fight. Okay, this is a Valari. Okay, I'm gonna get in behind this thing. Uh, how do I get out of the screen? I'm gonna get in behind this thing so I can get a missile lock with the heat seekers. I think the missile that I shot earlier hurt it a lot, though. So I've definitely scored some hits. Slow down and make a tight turn. Come around behind him, maybe? Nope. Give it all the mass drivers that I've got! I need a missile lock to launch, because I have heat seekers. It's not working so well. There we go. Launch another one! And another one! <laughs> there she's gone! <laughs> yeah! Fist bump. Paladin. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, you actually did a pretty good job of covering me that time. He drew a lot of the fire while I was trying to line up on my missile run. Here we go. That's the one I want. I want to return to the Tiger's Claw. There we go. Full speed ahead! I get to paint a cruiser on the side of my ship. Or a Ralari. I don't know what kind of class that is. Probably a destroyer. It wasn't very big. But still, it's a big ship. It'll take a lot of paint. It'll look dang cool. We don't have to escort a cruiser, it's really not going to take that long to get anywhere. Speed. Even in a scimitar, the speed on this thing's pretty good. So you get in close, I'll uh, try and hail them. Nope. Not quite. Clear to land. Okay. Bring it around. There we go. He's coming straight for me. You can make this easy on me, huh, Tiger's Claw? One thing I really like about this game is how it, uh... It, it makes you really feel like you're part of the crew on this one ship. As opposed to just kind of randomly jumping around the galaxy doing things. Which... I don't know. I like that. I like the whole... One location. You can build a status quo. You can build up some, like attachment to the place. And not a scratch on her. Made your life easier, mechanic. Just paint my cruiser on the side. Uh, oh, hey, we're doing it at a different time of day. This is new. I don't know what to think. Nice job, hotshot. You two, paladin. Congratulations to the both of you. Yes! The kid did all the work, sir. I was just along for the ride. Those Kilrathi destroyers really aren't too much to worry about, sir. I don't know, Hotshot. They had you outgunned as well as outnumbered. Now, to review the mission. Recorder shows you killed seven, Hotshot. And none for Paladin. Sorry, I'm kind of hogging the ghost. By the way, we've identified that big bogey as a Rolari class, des class destroyer. Good job for taking her out. That's all. Dismissed. Oh, hey. I think I won another award. Meritorious conduct in confronting the Kilrathi enemy in the college system on or about 2654-116. The Terran Confederation is proud to present the Bronze Star to Lieutenant Blair. Again, your courage has exemplary of the Confederation's finest defenders. Good job, Hotshot. Congratulations. Thank you, sir.
I feel like we've done this before. I think I already won the Bronze Star. Can you win it twice? When you die, does it go away? Hey there, Hawkshot! Get you something? I'm glad to see you and Paladin are getting along so well. He'll be retiring soon, you know? Been flying fighters for 20 odd years, and now they're putting him out to pasture. He and I used to fly together back before the war started. Darn good man. Old Claw will miss him. Aw, I like that guy actually. He's one of the few wingmen, one of the two wingmen I've had that I actually liked. I like to tell you, laddie, I've been good flying with you. We'll be pulling out of McAuliffe soon. And the Colonel likes to shake up the wings every now and then. So let me give you one last piece of advice. Those young wingmen ain't gonna have to stick by you the way I have, kid. That's no criticism of them, lad, just a fact. A youngster's got a name to make and a career to think on. He'll be looking to make a hero of himself. An old man like myself, on the other hand. Well, I'm just wanting to make it back so I can retire in one piece. Hmm, that's fine. I mean, if they don't stick close to me, they're less likely to crash into me, right? What's up, boss man? Hotshot, sit down. I want to compare notes with you. I've been watching the way Drothy maneuver, and I think I've noticed something. It seems to me that when you're hot on a Drothy's tail, he pulls a loop to shake you. He always goes up or down, never to the side. Ever notice that? You shrug in tentative agreement. <laughs> well, they do. Always up or down, never left or right. You know, lad, I believe you're right. I think it's because those big wings block their vision to the sides. But above and below, between the wings, their vision is clear. Well, that's a design flaw. Woo! Two places! <laughs> I'm coming for you, Casey. Whatever your call sign may be. Alright. It's probably enough for this episode. I'll call it there for a while. Been fun, guys. We will see you back aboard the Tiger's Claw.